Hello everyone, this is Howling Wolf. Here gonna give you my selections for March 16th, 2019. Before I give you the track in the race I'm gonna do, I wanna tell you guys to please subscribe to me down below. And also if you guys like to see some more of my selections, you can follow me on Twitter. My handle is Howler92. The track I'm gonna do for you is at Oakland Park. It is gonna be race number eight. The Rebel Stakes for $750,000. It is the first division of it. Since we're having two divisions of the Rebel Stakes. And this one, in this first division, we got a field of nine running. We got your favorite, which should be the number nine. And probable at the morning line odds at three to five. This race was kind of difficult. You got the fav the heavy favorite there. Hasn't ran in a while. You know. So. I was kind of looking for another. Maybe a little price. Better price. To hopefully get it. So I'm going to give you my two top selections. And my horse to like. My horse to watch. My top selection is going to be the number 8. Galen. The morning line odds at three to one. Galen is by Uncle Mo out of a El Prado mare. Last time she he ran was back in February eighteenth at Santa Anita. Then a mile one sixteenth in the Cow Cup Derby was out in the mid pack from the start out of the gate. Then right around two hours to turn was giving up there, slowing down, but also right around to that turn started getting up for first. And right at the stretch, he was first by five lengths. Then was ridden out and won the race to hold on by four and a half lengths. The time before that, he ran in December 16th at Los Salamitos. A mile distance was was with Fabian and Platt aboard again. Was up in the lead. Was out of the gate. Was from the from the gate was first and never looked back. Was out from gate to wire. Was first and was stretching it out. As the race went longer. So won the race by 9 lengths. The times that he worked out was March 5th. At Santa Anita. Did it in 1 minute. 1 second. Handily was 18th best out of the 68 workouts that day. The time after that did it on March 11th. Did four furlongs in 48.4 seconds. Handily was the ninth best out of the 22 workouts that day. What I need to see from Galen was hopefully not try to beat out Improbable too far out. Try to stay near Improbable if Improbable decides to stay back. So maybe stay back with, with him. Then Fabian Platt knows what to do. He, he could get her, get him into position well. And then right around that turn in the move. If Improbable is getting close up. Try to stay close up to Improbable. So you can make the same type of move. So they can battle it out down the stretch. So again for my top selection. It is the number 8 Galen. At Money Line Odds 3 to 1. My second choice is. It is the number one extra hope. Extra hope in morning line odds at six to one. It is by Shanghai Bobby out of a Tisnow mare. Last time he ran was at, a, at Santa Anita on January 31st on a sloppy track, going a mile distance and a, allowance optional claiming $80,000. Without duel, was dueling out. From the gate was around second. Then coming on late. 
was first mainly of the rest of the race. So it was close to or down the stretch was first. Was getting up in there but it was by length. Then stretching out as the race went longer was by three lengths around that turn. Then down the stretch won the race by at least three and a quarter lengths. The time before that ran de in December 8th at Los Salamitos in a mile and one sixteenth in the Los Salamitos fraternity for $300,000. Was f in that race, he was forced to go out four wide and was around six at that time. Had to go wide and lost a lot of ground doing that. But was gaining ground right around towards that stretch. At the end, towards stop, start of the stretch, was at least fourth by four lengths. Then came on to get at least third by eight lengths. So gained a little ground. So with this a bit approval and over at Oakland may like it. It is keep is Mike Smith to the board. Mike Smith should know how to get him into positions by seeing the tapes and all that. The times that he worked out was March fifth. Did three furlongs in 37 seconds handily. Was the 8th best out of the 30 workouts that day. The time after that. Did it on March 9th. Did six furlongs in 1 minute 12 seconds handily. Was the 4th best out of the 10 workouts that day. So what I did. What extra hope we needed to do was. With Mike Smith. Watch the tapes to get to know where the horse would be. Maybe not duel too far back out. Maybe try to stay in mid-pack. Getting up there. Kind of at the start. And make the same type of run he pretty much ran at Santa Anita. But maybe stay back in this race because it would be a little tougher field. And it's a short, short field. So... You may want to see him in the back a bit to gain the ground down the stretch. So again, for my second choice, it is the number one extra hope and more line nod six to one. My horse to watch. It is gonna be the number four easy shot. Easy shot is more line odds at fifteen to one. It is by a trap shot out of a scat daddy mare. Last time he ran was February 2nd at Santa Anita on a sloppy track going a mile and one sixteenth on the sloppy track there in the Robert Robert B. Lewis stakes. Was a bit off slow. Didn't get the ground that well. Then once they started getting the ground underneath and he was able to do it. Was able to get up there for a good third. Went second. Lost second. Then stayed up around third. Down towards the stretch. And was third by five and a quarter lengths. Time before that ran in January 5th. At Santa Anita and a mile distance. In the Shams grade three $100,000 purse race. Was chased but got had to study a bit. So... With Rafael Bejaran, he needed to steady him. It was down the stretch, was fourth, and just had to get steadied again down the stretch and lost fourth by getting fifth by three and a quarter lengths. Well, I see with the, and the workouts have been in March 9th and March 3rd, did four furlongs and 49 seconds handily, was the best out of the 11 workouts that day. Then in March 9th, worked out six furlongs. Then in one minute, 12 seconds, handily was the best out of the seven workouts that day. What Easy Shot needs to do is getting Richard Hermena aboard. Good jockey that runs around. Gets, knows how to get horses into position well. What need to do was need to get 
Not him to be way too back out, but stay in mid pack. They stay up close, not too far close. The fraction have been good. Knows they could get up there. Maybe get a nice clean start from the last race. So if you see him getting off on a good start, you may see him in a great position to get a shocker at a great price. So again, my horse to watch for the Division One of the Rebel Stakes. It is the number four easy shot. So remember, I'm going to be doing the, the video for number two coming up very soon. And remember, when you're cashing with the wolf, it's howling time. Good luck, everyone. And let's cash in those tickets and make that money. Good luck, everyone. Catch everyone later.